Hey there, it's been a while. I'm trying to get back into making YouTube videos about plants and gardening. So I thought I'd start off 2024 by sharing the tomato varieties that I'm gonna be growing this year. And if you hear cats in the background, it is just one of two fellows who are wanting their food. All right, so let's get started. First up is the Amish paste. This is an indeterminate tomato which means you will need to provide support because the plant will just keep growing until the season is done, until we get into frost. So it will get quite tall. This is a really good all around tomato for canning, for making sauces and pastes, and even for fresh eating. Next up, we have the Paul Robeson tomato. This is a very flavorful, Slicing type tomato, really good for fresh eating. Also an indeterminate tomato. So again, it will get quite tall and you should provide support for this tomato or else it will fall all over the place. But this is a definite always um, on my list every year to grow. The Juliet tomato is another indeterminate tomato. It gets very tall. These are smallish, sized plum tomatoes that have really good fresh eating uh, flavor and the picture on this packet isn't actually of the Juliet tomato um, this is just I guess stock photography but um, yeah it's excellent as a fresh eating tomato I also will slice these in half and dehydrate them and they're excellent that way as well damsel tomatoes are Again, on my always will grow list, these are really, really flavorful, reliable. They always produce really nice shaped round tomatoes with very few, you know, um, blemishes, cracks, cat facing. They're just really good and um, very productive and very disease resistant, hence the price tag for, I think, um, 10 seeds, it was almost $10, but again, I will always grow these as long as they're available. Unfortunately, they are a hybrid. Um, so you can take your chance and save the seeds and you might get something that resembles um, the parent plant. Might be worth it. Moving on to the cherry tomatoes. These are an indeterminate variety. Again, super sweet 100. I just thought I could add a couple of extra varieties to my cherry tomato collection this year. So I just found these at my local, I pr think it was probably Walmart or Canadian Tire where I got these. And I'm not sure if these are different than the Super Sweet 100, but it, they're called Super Sweet Hybrid and they're also from McKenzie. So I'm assuming there's a slight difference, but I will also add these to my list of indeterminate tomatoes this year. And last of my indeterminate varieties that I'll be growing is the Sun Gold. And this is definitely an absolute tomato to grow every year, must grow. I don't know that there is any cherry tomato that compares in flavor to Sun Gold. Sometimes um, these will crack if we've had a lot of rain, but I don't think they crack as much as I have heard. If you are, if you stay on top of picking them, you don't have to wait until they're completely ripe to pick them. You can pick them at any stage in their um, ripeness. As soon as they turn sort of an orangey yellow color, you can pick them, um, either eat them if you like them a little tart or let them ripen off the vine and they're still excellent. Again, these are a little pricier because they are a hybrid, but um, they're just so good. Moving on to the bush type or determinate tomatoes. These ones I will be growing in containers. First, we have the Galahad, which is a round slicing tomato, an AAS winner, and I'm hoping that it has great flavor and disease resistance. I believe it does. The, cat, the um, description here says it's got a high resistance to late blight so that's promising. Next we have another new variety that I'll be growing this year also in containers Tasmanian chocolate. This was another recommendation from Savvy Gardening so we'll see how this one is. Uh, the tomatoes look like they're probably a slicing type and um, darker in color 
and hopefully great flavor as well. Inca Jewels is a determinant type of Roma tomato, so I'm hoping to use this for canning, for making sauces, and that type of thing. Again, I've not grown these, so this will be my first year trying them out. On to the cherry tomatoes that I'll be growing in containers. First up is the Tumbler, which is a, from what I understand, a very reliable container cherry tomato. The next container type cherry tomato that I will be growing is the sugary tomato. And this is another award-winning tomato for flavor, productivity, and resistance to cracking. So that's always good. And we'll see how this is because I have not grown this yet. Of all the tomatoes that I'm growing this year, I think this one was the hardest to find seeds for. This is a container type uh, cherry tomato and it is called Tumbling Bella. It is a hybrid and it is a more blight tolerant variety of tumbler. This is also known, I believe, as Terenzo. Um, and again, another variety that was recommended by Savvy Gardening. So <laughs> I think I went, I went to their blog post about tomatoes that are good, uh, tomato varieties that are good for containers. And I basically just wrote down the list that they recommended and tried to find them. This one I did find, it's from Sutton's, so it's from the UK, but I found it through Halifax Seed. And I think that was pretty much the only source that I could find this seed from um, in Canada, at least online. And nothing, I was not able to find this anywhere locally at all. All right, so that rounds out my 2024 list of tomato varieties that I'll be growing this year. It's a lot less than I have grown in previous years, but I'm trying a lot of new varieties this year and sticking with some tried and true varieties that I have grown and have always liked and will remain a permanent fixture in my garden. Um, so let me know what you're growing this year in the way of tomatoes. Is there any variety that you have grown that you just absolutely love and cannot do without in your garden? let me know. Anyways, thanks for watching and I hope to have more videos posted on here soon. Have a great day.